you like my sunglasses? They're awfully, you won't get coronavirus in your eyes. You think they look like goggles? They're big. It is cold, you guys. I just got back from Florida about a week ago, and I'm still adjusting to all of this. So I'm having some hot tea tonight. This one is Egyptian licorice mint. It's okay. You know, I thought it would taste a little bit more like black licorice, but the spearmint is kind of taken over, and I'm not 100% sure that I love it, but I'm going to drink it because I made it. I'm actually especially thankful that I'm home right now because I don't know if you guys noticed this or not, but while I was in Florida and all the gray was coming in in my hair, I put box dye on it twice, which my daughter at home in St. Louis is a hairdresser and she was not happy about that at all because I thought I was making it like a medium brown and it's really, really dark and it's too dark and now she has to fix it. So I have it up in this little ponytail. She's also all over me because I pull it up all the time and it breaks here. Does that happen to you guys? I'll show you guys my trick. See how good this looks here? I'm gonna show you my trick. What do you think that is to make that not look? Cause I know you guys have seen me before because sometimes people get a little nasty in the comments and say things that are crazy. But yes, I know that when I pull it back all the time, it'll break here and give you a receding hairline. Anyway, let's not talk about that. We have better things to talk about. Today, we're gonna talk about the easiest way to count calories and start losing weight when you're a beginner. So the reason I really wanna do this video is I know that I have a lot of new people right now because I was doing WW, which is Weight Watchers, for two years. And I I always say this, I say this in almost always, every video, I'm not a WW basher. I'm not bashing that plan at all. I had really good luck on it. But if you don't know this, WW is a low calorie plan. So the reason I share that with you is because if you're having success on WW or if you have had success on WW, it's likely because you were eating less calories than you were burning. So as they all say, calories in, calories out. If you burn more than you're eating, you're going to lose weight. It's just simple math. Okay. so. That said, how do we get started? How do we, you know, for those of you out there that need to lose 50, 100, 150 pounds, how do you just go, just begin? Those are the people that I really want to speak to today and I want to help you. I want you to understand that you can do this. I know you can do this. I totally believe in you. I have been there. I lost 40 pounds. Now, you know what? My 40 pounds, I promise you, was just as hard as your 50 or 100 or 150. And I don't say that to set aside what you're going through. I really don't. But if you look at things in terms of percentage, my percentage of body weight that I needed to lose was high. Your percentage of body weight that you need to lose is high. Hard is hard is hard. So let's support each other and do this together. These tips will help you, I promise. So number one, start with portion control. Just begin there. Don't go get my fitness pal, which is free by the way. That's an app. Don't do eye track bites. Don't do any of that. Just start with portion control. So what do I mean by that? In the morning, instead of having four eggs, 10 pieces of bacon and two slices of toast. And that is not a joke. There is somebody who lives in my household who used to eat like that. Start with portion control. One serving of eggs, let's say that's two eggs. Um, one serving of bacon, three slices. 
um, two pieces of toast. Just take it down to your portion sizes. For lunch, instead of having two sandwiches with ham piled high, look at the back of everything that you're eating. So, for example, if you're going to have a bowl of cereal, look at that. I bet you're eating way more cereal than you realize you're probably having four or five servings because, you know, we Americans, we get that box out, we just pour, we just pour it and we don't measure. So make sure you're having a serving size. Don't change what you're eating. Just cut down the portion of what you're eating based on the serving size. Where do you find that? You find it on the box. You find it on the label of what you're eating. If you're eating something really unusual, go online and make your best guess. But I would say that 95% of what you're eating is probably the portion sizes available on the box or whatever it is you're eating. Number two, the second thing that I think will really help you, don't change what you're eating. Okay, and again, remember, I am speaking directly to you, those of you who want to start, but you don't know how to start, where to start, what do I do? Somebody help me. I want to help you. So don't change everything. You love to have a Hostess cupcake in the day. Let's say you love to have three of them. Have one serving size of it, like what we said on number one. But don't eliminate that cupcake, all right? Um, just cut down how much of it you're having. I don't want you to get yourself overwhelmed thinking that you can't eat the food you love. When you're closer to goal and you've had some success and you feel good about that success, trust me when I tell you, you aren't going to want to have that hostess cupcake anymore, except maybe during your treat meal something like that. But for now, let's leave what you're eating. You like to have, you know, Nacho Bell Grande at Taco Bell a couple times a week. You know what? Have that. Cut it in half. Or if you're having it with two tacos, eliminate the two tacos. Go down to your portioning. I'm not saying eliminate the things you like. I'm just saying eat less of the things you like. And you have to be fair with me here. You can't say, well, I usually eat two cheeseburgers, so I'm going to have two cheeseburgers and I'm going to leave one bite out of the second one. Now, you know that's not going to work. Number three, allow yourself a break day. What I mean by that is diet. We'll call, I'm going to say diet, you guys. I know a lot of you guys will correct me and say, well, it's not a diet. It's a lifestyle journey. I get that. We all know that, but a diet is what you eat. Your diet, your dietary needs, it's what you eat, okay? So I'm going to use that word. Sometimes we need a mental health day. Sometimes we need a break from that diet. Sometimes we have to give ourselves permission to eat those tortilla chips. I'm going to share a little secret with you guys. I did it today. I diet seven days a week, usually minus one cheat meal. Now, in the beginning, I would do a cheat day because that's what I needed. Um, but now I do a cheat meal. So you know what I had today? I had nachos. I made them, tore a plate of tortilla chips that I popped in the microwave, and I put way more than I normally would of this nacho cheese over it. And then I had an M&M cookie that actually had two of them that I made. I only made, that's another one of my tricks, If it, like right now is the holidays, depending on when you're watching this, but I will make small batches of like holiday cookies or things like that so that I can't go crazy on it. Um, anyway, I had that, that was my treat meal for today. And I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I feel sick right now. I, not mentally sick, like I wish I wouldn't, have eaten it, but my body doesn't like that stuff anymore. When you are eating right, your body will just start to tell you no. But in the beginning, you sometimes need that mental health break 
from your diet. So you know what? Take it in the beginning until you've had some success and you feel good about what you're doing and you don't want to take a full day anymore. Take a full break day from your diet. Number four, celebrate the small wins. I want you to celebrate the small wins. What do I mean by that? Today I had a hamburger without the cheese. That is a win. You just eliminated a full fat cheese is 110 calories for one slice. You just eliminated that. You know, that's awesome. That is a win. You made the choice. Instead of reaching for the Ken's Thousand Island dressing, you reached for the light dressing. That is a win. You're able to get up off the couch, walk to your mailbox, get the mail up the hill from your driveway and back to your couch. You wouldn't have done that before. You would have waited for somebody to get home to get the mail. Celebrate that as a win. Instead of drinking regular soda today all day long, you replaced it half the day with water. That is a win. No matter how small, no matter how insignificant, celebrate that. And I celebrate that with you because I promise you that will add up. Okay, lastly, number five. And again, remember, this is for my beginners out there that, that just need some motivation to start. Don't eliminate a food group. Don't eliminate a food group anyway. And a lot of you that have watched, for, watched me for a while are going to say, well, wait a minute, Barrett. You do low carb sometimes. And you know what? Yes, I do. I know my body and I know that insulin, I'm insulin resistant. I carry my weight through the middle. You know, we're all like either an apple or a pear or a whatever. I am an apple, so I carry it through the middle. I am not diabetic or anything like that, um, but I am insulin resistant. My body prefers that I eat uh, non-high carb foods, low GI foods. So mainly what that means is just lower sugar. And remember, breads and pastas and starchy vegetables, potatoes, those things do uh, metabolize in your body into sugar. So yes, when I am digging down and I'm close to goal, kind of like where I am now, I will pull the carbs back. Now I'm not doing it at this point in time because it's the holidays and I know me and I live in reality and it isn't the time for me to do that. It's foolish. I am going to be on a diet plan my entire life. You probably are as well. So use common sense when you want to do that and when you don't. But for you right now, those of you who are just starting, don't eliminate things. Don't get yourself confused saying I have to eat low carb or I have to eat high fat or I have to eat low fat or I have to eat low sodium or I what am I doing here? No, no, no. All we're doing is lowering calories on the foods you like. So again, easiest way to do it is portion control. If you're a little more advanced than that and you feel comfortable, then count your calories. And if you want a video on that, I will show you exactly how I do it. But this is for you beginners that just want to get started. Don't eliminate an entire food group or sodium or things like that and get yourself all confused. Does that help? I hope it helps. I really want to help you obtain your fitness goals, get started. You know, we're in the holidays right now and we're all kind of thinking about things, you know. Many of us have put on weight with all this stay at home stuff. And you know, it's time for many of us to say, okay, that's over. We have to live our lives and we want to be healthy. And this is the best way to do it, to take control of what you're putting in your body. So I really hope this helps you get started. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe and let me know in the comments what you like, what you don't, and I will get to work.